We have no official scripture reading this morning because the story was the scripture. Exodus 3, verses 1 to 15. The story of the burning bush. And so I invite you to pray with me. May these words that I speak and these songs we sing be grounded in my soul, encouraged by the God presence in me. And may these words and songs you hear be captured by your soul, enlivened by the God presence in you. Amen. The story of Moses, originally part of the oral tradition of the Hebrew people, from a baby in a basket in the Nile through slavery and exodus to a wandering wilderness people is a literary creation, not remembered history. I make no apology for saying that because frankly I feel the story has much more important things to say as metaphor than it could ever say when we are forced to believe in miracles and incredible coincidence. Rather, I believe this entire story tries to capture the power of the Spirit of God in individual lives, in relationships, and in the world. Moses' encounter with a burning bush that is never consumed is a good example of the difference in the power of a story when it is read as historical fact or when it is read as metaphor. As historical fact, we are forced to believe that a man witnessed God in a not-of-this-earth kind of fire, something that has not been duplicated in the thousands of years since. Rather than seeing this as an experience of God that any one of us could also have, we are left having to believe that somehow Moses was better than the rest of us, and so God engaged him differently. This does little to grow my faith or sense of God. However, as metaphor, this is a powerful story of the persistence of the Spirit of God in life. A spirit, spirit that burns within each of us, burns amongst us, and burns through the entire universe. This Spirit is eternal, unending both within us and beyond us. And this fiery spirit becomes both comfort and challenge in our lives when we, like Moses, turn aside to see. As metaphor, this story is also not about one person being set apart or chosen by God, but rather tells us that every human spirit is fueled by the fire of God. After all, Moses had fled Egypt because he had killed another man. He is in hiding, tending sheep, and has fallen about as far as one can fall. He is aimless and desolate, and yet in that hopeless state, he encounters the Spirit, the fire of God. A voice from deep in his soul calls him to stoke those embers and change the world. The Hebrew people are enslaved and terrorized according to the story. Moses has given up and run away. But the Spirit of God within him and around him does not give up. God is calling Moses as God calls each of us to face ourselves and to face the world and gives us hearts and souls of fire to change our lives and to change our world. This song is a way to open to the fire in each of us to see the world with new eyes.
see ourselves for who we are and the, and the world for what it is, how can we not try to change our ways and make a difference in the world? How can we say no and feel any sort of contentment? I believe that is really when we experience the presence of God. It is when we pay attention to the fire in our heart and the passion in our soul that we come into the presence of mystery, an unquenchable, holy fire. It is in those moments when I find myself saying, who am I to say no? Yet still knowing that we can't say yes to everything. It's not our responsibility to change the whole world, but we do need to say yes to something, even something small knowing that every little yes can affect change. Moses and Jesus, Gandhi and Martin Luther King, our moderator Gary Patterson and former moderator Lois Wilson, Stephen Lewis and David Suzuki have all made a difference in the world by saying yes. They all responded to the fire in their bellies. So who am I to say no?
Okay, so I say yes. And then for me, there's that moment or longer of panic. When I do see what I need to do, what I need to say yes to, how can I really do that? It's in those moments that the fire in my belly, that unquenchable Spirit of God, gives me the courage and gives me the wisdom to open myself up. That fire drawing me ever closer to living in God, living in that presence, so that I can live better in the world. This song is my response to opening to that fire, to opening to that light that fire within me, that fire that's in each of us. From the smallest candlelight, we, like Moses, like Jesus, and like so many others, past and present, discover the beacon, the beacon that draws us to embrace our full humanity and connects us to the very heart of God, the fire in our bellies.
moment of quiet meditation, I invite you to wonder. I wonder what the fire in my belly is calling me to this day. 